Electric cars powered by lithium-ion batteries are fast, but they're still too expensive for the mass market. Oxys Energy and Ferradian, two battery technology startup companies in the UK, believe they can cut the cost of these cars. Oh, here comes a prototype vehicle using Oxys's lithium sulfur battery right now. Uh, here it comes. Still coming. Nearly here. Here. Let's hope Ferradian can do better. Ah, not really. Here comes Ferradian's electric bike, the first vehicle ever to be powered by a sodium iron battery. It has a top speed of 20 miles per hour, and yes, the cyclist has to do some pedaling too. Based on what we just saw, neither Oxys nor Ferradian look like they'll be giving current electric car makers a run for their money. But anticipated improvements to Ferradian's sodium iron material in the next couple of years will make the amount of energy the firm can pack into the sodium iron similar to that of lithium iron. In the next two years, we expect the energy density and cycle life of our sodium iron cells to be similar to commercial lithium ion batteries, but at 30% less cost in terms of dollars per kilowatt hour. Oxys's lithium sulfur battery delivers twice the power of a lithium ion battery, so potentially only half a lithium sulfur battery is needed, which reduces cost. We're developing new chemistries and already we're seeing figures of 300 watt hours per kilogram plus. Um, lithium sulfur technology is a really exciting area to be in as a scientist and we have strong plans to um, develop this cell technology towards 500 watt hours uh, per kilogram in the coming years. While the prototype vehicles won't have lithium ion battery technology firms quaking in their boots just yet, these improvements in battery performance may help these startups get into the fast lane. This is Alex Scott reporting for Chemical and Engineering News.